Hello, welcome to this presentation. My name is John. Today I'm going to show you how to develop a database using Navicat Premium. We're going to start by creating a parent table. That is the table from which we're going to retrieve the foreign key. After that, we're going to create the cell table to which the foreign key is going to be applied. First of all, today we're going to use Navicat Premium to do all these issues. I've already launched my Navicat Premium. This is its interface. Come here, you right click and create new database. You give the database its name. I'm going to name my database trial. Trial DB. Mm, the chassis and the collection is going to be blank. Put OK. After doing that, you come to the database that you've just created and uh, add uh, tables. We can locate the database that we've created. Mine is, mine is here. You right click or double click on it and you come to tables. You can create a new table. I am going to have some like uh, three entities in my table. The first entity is going to be the first of all this is a faculty table. The first entity is going to be the primary key that is faculty ID faculty ID it is going to be type VACA. I'm going to give it a length of 100 I won't allow null here and I'm going to make it primary. We add another entity that is the faculty faculty name. We give it a, a type of VACA and a length of 100. We don't allow null. Uh, we can also add date can give it a timestamp it's here and you don't allow null and save give the name that is the faculty you just saved it after creating this table we create another table A new table. The new table we are going to call it table department. Its first entity is going to be uh, department ID. Department ID. We give it a type of VACA and a length of 100 and we make it primary. The second entity is going to be department name. Department name. We we'll give it a type of worker, length of 100, and we don't allow null. The third entity is going to be faculty ID. As you can remember, faculty ID was the primary key in table faculty. It was type VACA and it had a length of 100. Actually, this is the foreign key that we've applied here in table, table department. If you want to actualize or implement the foreign key aspect, you tap on foreign key. Give it a name, for example, faculty. Faculty. Then you come to the field name. The field name is faculty ID. You check it and you press the green button. You come to the database from which this table is created. Ours was called trial DB. Select it. You go to the reference table. You have table faculty. Then foreign field names. We have faculty ID from the faculty table. Then on delete, we usually restrict and on update, 
you rest or I mean you cascade after doing the easy save and we'll give it a name department department and you save you can close this one as you can see this is the interface that we have showing the two tables that we have created table faculty and table department table faculty was the parent table and table department was the child table meaning that table department cannot exist without table faculty so generally this is how you create the foreign keys until next time thank you for watching this module